Hello guys and welcome to a new video of Fly Crash Build and Repeat. Um, well actually today we're gonna talk about uh, the small stuff you need to know when <clears throat> when you're buying a QRX350 Pro and when you're a beginning pilot with drones. So um, we're, basically we're gonna talk about which batteries are the best, which um, antennas you are the best which propellers are the best which cameras which just stuff like that um, so yeah let's get into it um, first we're gonna talk about the batteries um, when you buy this model you get everyone knows this battery everyone gets this battery when he buys this model and it's actually a pretty good battery but if you want another one it's actually quite um, it, it's not really cheap so when I started out with this drone I thought mm, I need a second one I bought one on Banggood I, I thought Banggood is a good site um, you can dress them they sent me this already so why not I paid 30 bucks for this battery and it turns out that it's a fake one it doesn't have this uh, the, 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 the mark of Valkyra um, they, they sell it as a mark of Valkyra but it isn't it's a fake one I got like five minutes of fly time with this one and that's almost nothing and I'm really disappointed in that so you really wanna know which battery you can buy because buying a, a fake one is um, isn't actually quite fun it's not not really cheap so um, the best battery you can buy for the QRX350 Pro is the Multistar 5.2 um, 5200 5, megawatts um, a tree cell and 11.1 voltage these are the best batteries you can buy for this model um, let me show you a new trick for batteries so I'll put a link in the description for this one I get around like maybe 13 minutes with this one with camera and gimbal and all that stuff on my drone I get 13 minutes with this and only then with this one I guess around 10 I guess maybe maybe less um, so everybody when they should put the battery in everybody has like some issues when you do them in the wire is in the way this one you see when you want to put it in it's not really handy you know what I did is if you look closely, I did a little hole in here, which you can see. You can just put your wire out there and just slide it in. Easy. No problems at all. Get it out again. No problems. This is really something you want to do with your drone. Um, it's really handy. No problems with getting your battery up out or in um, also these green batteries from Multistar um, they're a big big a little bit bigger than the original Valkyra one so uh, I don't know if you can see it probably not but it's a little bit bigger and then you really have to make like this little thing in your drum and it just fits right into it you'll see there you go. You see? Easy. These batteries are, I guess, 25 euros on, um, on hobbyking.com. I'll put a link in the description. They're very good, very re reliable. I really like them. It's really something you, you want to buy if you're flying a QR X350 Pro. I already have three of them, plus my Valkyra battery and the, yeah, 
the fake one, but I'm that's just not that quite good. So um, yeah, that's it for. Oh no, I still have something for batteries. You probably saw this blue battery. It's from Turn G. It's a 2.2 megawatt uh, battery, 11.1 uh, voltage. So uh, this Turn G battery is actually made for for your controller. It's made for it. So you can see. Give me a second. Like this. This battery is made for transmitters only and when you buy this blue battery you don't have to buy all those AA batteries which cost you a lot of money and they run out of power after a short while of using them. This one just reloaded, plug and play, easy and not quite um, expensive. Just, just put it in and plug it in and just plug and play you know it's very easy I'll put a link in the description for this one too for you guys um, so yeah that's another quite good thing you should do when you're flying with a Devo 10 or F7 or 7 you know doesn't matter which one you're flying with it's all good for this battery so I'll put a link in the description also from Hobby King. Very good store, very reliable. Um, um, now we're gonna talk about the propellers. The propellers are, there are a lot of different propellers. Um, which you can see. Well, here you have the stock ones. The stock ones. And they are the best propellers there are on the market. Uh, the plastic versions. The carbon fibers are... And I, I don't even think they're car carbon fibers of the original um, <coughs> propellers. So, these are the best ones you want to get. Um, a friend of mine tested all the different propellers there are. Uh, even the carbon fiber, stuff like that. They came out the best, so keep with the stock ones. It's only like two bucks on Banggood for some more. It's it's no money, so uh, keep with them. We'll get the longest flight times. I had this uh, propeller. I I used this one for a while, <coughs> but that one is giving me far more or less uh, far. Um, less um, a less flight duration than this one. This one is much better. So don't buy these crappy um, propellers. Keep the stock ones. That's really something you want to do. Um, when you're using another kind of motor, some people use Sunny Sky motors or Emacs motors. Um, then you can go for propellers with uh, three blades. Not just two, but three, for a better trust and stuff like that. <coughs> then you should buy some with three pro uh, three blades on it, propellers with three blades. Um, I actually, I'm I'm actually gonna make a video later, some maybe two or three weeks from now. Um, and then I'm gonna do the powertrain mod which actually is um, changing the motors and ESCs of the drone to better ones <coughs> for a better um, efficiency and stuff like that the Valkyra motors and ESCs aren't quite good they're not really um, reliable you always have problems with ESCs and stuff like that so I'm just gonna change them and I'll make a video on how to do it um, well, also, now we're going to talk about the um, antennas. Which one you use, which one uh, to choose. There's a lot of them on the market. Give me a second. Uh, when you're buying a video transmitter, here you have one. 
don't know if you can see it. When you're buying a video transmitter, you get um, an antenna like this. Never ever use these. They're not good. Not at all. <coughs> to get a good signal with these ones, you have to get them lined up like this. But if you're flying a drone, it's always moving and, and going the other, way, the other way around and stuff like that. And then you have like bad connections and uh, a video that is like foggy and stuff like that. You don't want to have that. And to prevent that from happening, you should use clover leaf antennas. <coughs> clover leaf antennas are far more better than these ones. It doesn't matter how they are located, it's always a good signal. Never, lo never bad signals or something. You really want to use these. If you're starting out and buying a video transmitter, you think, oh, I got this one from it, then I'll use it. No, don't use them. Buy other ones. Also, if you're buying other ones, you should look at the um, the pins there is a little pin on it I don't know if you can see it probably not but there are, there are different differences this is with a hole this isn't <coughs> you see so you really wanna don't wanna buy the the wrong one um, already had that problem myself so that's not really fun actually um, so yeah, that's about it for the antennas. Let's get into the landing skit. The landing skit, this is the stock landing skit you get when you buy this drone. Um, you really, if you're using a, a gimbal, don't use this landing skit. Buy another one. It's so, really cheap. This, these are the high landing skits you can buy on Banggood. I'll put a link in the description if you want. Um, these high landing skids are far more better it, with a gimbal. Um, if you're using the low landing skids with a gimbal, the gimbal will be too low to the ground and you cannot um, um, fly off in the grass because then it's shaky and it will yeah, damage the gimbal. If you're using high landing skids, the gimbal comes up a bit and then it's possible to to fly and and um, get off the ground without any problems in low grass so um, you really want to get these high landing skits they are stronger and stuff like that really like them actually um, there you go you can see it so high much higher than these ones you see difference so get the high it's not it's really cheap i'll put a link in the description they you can get them from banggood without any shipping costs um then fpv cameras i'm really disappointed in iLook. i bought one this is just the iLook, uh, not the iLook plus or something um i'm really disappointed in it you don't get a good range out of it I had problems with the range, um, problems with the camera, resolution, stuff like that. I, I don't like it. You can better buy an SJ Cam 5000 Plus or something, which you can see in my previous videos. And uh, make a video transmitter on it and you will never have problems with range or efficiency of filming and stuff like that. You get a good clear view. Nice video footage. You can't get better, you know. Um, so go with the um, SJ Cam or a GoPro or stuff like that. Um, don't use, don't buy an iLook. It's really not good, actually. I don't like it. Uh, I don't know about the iLook Plus. Probably that's kind of better. You get a good uh, camera um, resolution. Probably that's better. So uh, yeah, don't go with iLook. Um, oh yeah, 
one thing left. Let me see. Come here. Come on. If you're using batteries like this and you have loads of them, a lot, a lot, a lot of them, which I have, I've, I've got a lot of them, um, you really want to buy the IMAX B6 AC V2 AC DC dual power. Uh, this is a professional balance charger and it's like 50 euros on Banggood and is it's really good. Um, you can charge your batteries far more faster than the stock um, the stock battery charger, the black box, you know, when you buy this thing you get a black box. It's crappy. It's like six hours for one battery. You're getting you you will have some time to reload all the all of them before you can uh, get in the air. This one does it far more faster. I guess it's like um one hour and twenty minutes I guess it was. Um, well, I still have to, to, a friend of me said it was, I guess it was one hour and 20 minutes, something like that. 90 minutes it was, yeah, 90 minutes, one hour and a half, I guess. Something like that. Far more better than six hours with the black box. Uh, this one is also working f for every battery, so you can charge your blue one too. Uh, I'll do a video on how to use this, uh, so I have to figure out myself. Never used this, just bought it actually. Came right out of the box, which you can see. So, um, yeah, my friends told me this one was a good one, a very good one. And uh, I've only heard good things about this. So, um, we really want to get that too. And that's it, I guess. Um, if you have any other questions about little things you don't know or stuff like that with your QRX350 Pro, just ask them. I already have this one for a year. I have some experience with it. I have a lot of friends who have this one too. Um, just ask me and I'll try to answer your question. Um, and if I can't, I'll look it up. Then I can learn myself. So um, yeah, that's it for now. Uh, thank you for watching to my video. Um, if you liked it, leave a like. If you want to see more videos about the QRX350 Pro and mods you can do with it, just let me know. And um, maybe subscribe to my channel, then you can see a lot more videos about it. I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, that was it for today. I'll do a lot more videos about it. And just stay tuned. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.